Hey, I'm back. It's Felicia, aka your low brow auntie, and I know why you're here. You're here because you saw the title of the video and you're ready to see what I think about this beer. So today we are talking about Fuller's London Porter. Y'all, we don't import today. We getting schmancy up in this place. So, um, Fuller's London Porter. Ah, uh, here we go. Y'all know I can't talk. Fuller's London Porter um, is made by Fuller, Smith & Turner, located in Chiswick, London. Uh, that's in the UK. And um, what I want to do is just kind of give you a little bit of information about what's on the back of this bottle and the reason I selected it. So it says, uh, London Porter takes its name from the porters who carried goods around the streets of London in the 18th century. This beer is brewed using pale, crystal, brown, and chocolate malts combined with Fugles hops, giving a rich, dark, and complex flavor. London Porter Bros. Y'all, the letter B just challenges me. Let me start again. London Porter Boast wonderful chocolate notes and a smooth satisfying finish so what i'm looking for in here and what i expect to uh, get in here is maybe um some fruity notes uh some chocolate um maybe some some light malt. i expect this to be a complex um complex beverage um so the alcohol by volume is at 5.4 percent so nice and, and um conservative that's exciting um I mean, it's exciting as 5.4% alcohol by volume can be. But I'm looking forward to uh, giving this a shot and seeing um, exactly how this is going to pour, you know, the aromas we're going to get off of it, and then uh, go ahead, taste it, and see if we can get the flavors that we expect from this. So let's go ahead and open it up. So, um, like I say, I expect to get some chocolate from this uh some fruity notes some some floral notes and just really good uh aroma so we're gonna see okay first of all it's pouring really dark which is exciting uh not a lot of head so that's interesting as well and i don't know if it's because my pour skills have <laughs> have improved since last um last video or if this just doesn't pour with a lot of head so very little head and as you can see it's dissipating rather quickly um so this is a um 11.2 fluid ounce bottle so you know your that's your standard amount that you're going to get out of this so it fits into a pint glass very nicely so let me go ahead and take a whiff Oh well, y'all, the chocolate, the chocolate is like, bam, <laughs> it's coming right out at you. Um, I'm not really getting malty, not really, mostly getting chocolate. I'm not smelling any alcohol, um, slight, like just slightly, slightly, slightly fruity, but, um, other than that, I'm, I'm really just mainly just chocolate is it, just hitting me. So let's go ahead and, and. Just taste it because that's where we are right now. <laughs> okay. So. This. Oh, wait. Okay. Wow. There. <laughs> so, um. I was wow okay so this is really complex there is a lot of layers to the flavor of this of this porter so and I'm actually still getting rich rich coffee in, in, on the back the back notes of that really really rich coffee the front notes I'm not gonna lie it was slightly hoppy like ever so slightly probably not not so much ever so slightly but it's a little more bitter than I expected a porter to be. So on the front of the tongue, there is that, hold on, one more time, let me try it again. <laughs> on the front of the tongue, for sure, there is that hop, that hoppy. So that kind of, you know, aligns with me thinking that we probably are gonna get some some fruit or experience some fruit in this porter. Um, The chocolate is there for sure. 
Um, but like I say, on the back, y'all, that that coffee on the back is spectacular. I really, really like it, and the, and it just lingers. It's there. It's still there. So, but mouthfeel on this is actually kind of light to medium. Not a very heavy mouthfeel. You could probably tell that just from the head that you know that we got from it when we poured it up. So not a very heavy mouthfeel. Um, very, it's, wow, wow, that coffee is really good. Um, so just full disclosure, I am a coffee head. I love, love coffee. Um, I drink it in the morning, I drink it in the evening, I drink it at supper time. Anyway, um, <laughs> comment if you know what, um, commercial inspired that. So anyway, um, so this, yeah, complex for sure. I like this. It's not too heavy. Uh, the alcohol content is is not excessive. It's com complex. Now that, so I don't know if the coffee notes are actually prominent or if I'm now smelling it because I tasted the coffee. Um, I'm thinking earlier, like I say, I just really didn't get coffee from my initial smell after, after the pour. But I, I'm for sure picking it up now. So let's go ahead and take one more drink and see if we can find anything else that we may have missed. Yeah, the hops. You know, the hops are there. And um, I'm not really a hop girl. I'm not really into IPAs. Um, I'm not really a, a hop girl, but I think the chocolate and the coffee balances out the hops, but it's unexpected. It's unexpected and not necessarily a bad thing. Um, yeah, no, I like this. I like this. Um, and I don't know if you remember from the video where I kind of ran down all the things that I'm going to be going over in upcoming videos. I did mention that I've had this before. So, um, and, and I enjoyed it enough to want to put it in this lineup. So I've had this before. I enjoyed it before. I enjoy it now, but now that I'm kind of looking at it through a different lens before I was just drinking it to enjoy it. Now I'm drinking it to kind of, you know, see what's actually there and how these flavors come together to be this delicious, just delicious porter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I, I like this. I do like this. I am for sure going to finish this. Um, I don't think we need to let it sit. We don't need to let this warm up. Um, I think it's, it's done all it's going to do. I don't think letting it warm up any would actually develop any more of those flavors like I said just from the pour and then me going back and taking another drink um after I've had that initial um that initial drink to kind of um establish what flavors I'm looking for I don't think anything else is going to come out of this if we let it warm up a little bit so I'm not going to do that for this one so I'm going to go ahead and let the verdict stand as it is I like this I like this this London Porter for sure, I found this in um, my local um, package store um, in the craft beer section. And I keep calling this a craft, and it's not a craft per se. Um, when we think of a craft as being kind of like a small type of like microbrewery uh, that just kind of does kind of niche kind of um, beers, that's not necessarily this. Now they've been around for a while, so I wouldn't necessarily say they are a um, a uh, craft as in the sense of it being, you know, um, coming from a microbrewery. But it does it does um, have its own distinct um, flavor. I like it. Um, it's um, as we transition over into fall, this would probably be a good drink to kind of sip on as you curl up by a, a roaring fireplace or outside chatting with your friends. I don't know. However you want to consume this, it'll work. Um, I consume dark beers year round. Uh, it does get difficult in the summer to find some when I'm out and about because for whatever reason, people just, um, you know, adopt that whole dark beers or heavier so this in the winter you know kind of like white after labor day blah, blah. i don't subscribe to that i like dark beers i drink them all year round i acquire them i consume them i enjoy them um and hopefully you know this is something that you'll pick up just let me know if you have um 
if you tried this London Porter or um, if you're thinking about maybe trying it or um, yeah, if there's anything else that you um, would like for me to try, just leave me a comment and let me know. Um, yeah, we you may see it featured here um, and having me letting you know what I think. So thank you so much for joining me again uh, to see what I think. Uh, just remember to drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. It's not a good idea to drink and drive. It's never a good idea to drink and drive. And um, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.